apologize in advance for the video and sound quality. It's dark and it's raining, but I wanted to show the uh, ECM's ability to control the DC-DC converter. To do that, I have an oscilloscope here. I have Peter's OBD2 CNC, which is something else that I'll definitely have. Uh, and I'm going to be varying the load using my headlights. So I'll just be flipping them on and off and you'll be able to see when they turn on here. You heard the, uh, you see the battery amperage on the uh, battery, the IMA battery current sensor is two and a half amps when the lights are on and you know, one amp or so, now zero amps. Uh, and, and zero amps because the ECM has just turned the 12 volts off. So the ECM can't actually turn it off. It can only turn it uh, between 12 volts and 14 volts. Um, the actual voltage is controlled by the engine temperature and whether or not the DC-DC is on is only controlled by the MCM. So to clarify again, the MCM is the only thing in the car that can turn the DC-DC converter off. Uh, the ECM can turn the voltage between 12 and 14 volts. And so you'll see that here, the ECM, when I turn the headlights on, is causing the uh, voltage to come up, and when I turn them off, it's causing the voltage to go down. And you hear when it turns on, you can hear it squeak. A lot of people hear this sound if you listen to it. I might not pick it up again because of the rain, but it's a very high-pitched squeak, and I'm going to do it in about two seconds. I'm going to do it again in about two seconds. So that's the DC-DC. So let's look at it on the oscilloscope. And so to do it here, first of all, I'm probing the control line, uh, which is the uh, white-green line that goes into the DC-DC. So it's the white-green wire here. So I have my oscilloscope hooked up to it. Um, I also have this other lead, which we'll look at in a second. It's not doing anything right now. So let's go ahead and just look at what the signal's doing right now. I'm gonna force the trigger and you can see that it's low. So the, the line is low. Let's see if I can get both of these here in view. Maybe, maybe it's not readable. The line is low when the uh, ECM wants the uh, DC-DC to be off. So what I'll do is I'll flip the headlights on here and you'll see the 12 volts, the bottom left corner is going to go up and you'll see the, the actual signal go high as well. So there's the signal going high, apologies, there's a little bit of a delay on the scope because I'm acquiring so much data. Uh, again, when the scope turns off, it's going to go down, which is what it did there. Let me make the time base a little bit faster here so that this is something that is kind of synced. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the 12 volts, I'm sorry, I'm gonna turn the headlights on again. You'll see the 12 volts go up. You'll see the line go high. So there's our line going high. And then I'm gonna turn it off. The line's gonna go low. There, our line's low. Now, if you want to make the DC-DC always stay on, so for example, if you've removed the IMA battery in your car and you've rigged it, all you have to do is you have to cut the white green wire. So I've already cut it here. And what I'll do real quick is I'm gonna disconnect it. You heard the thing come back on. And I've also hooked the scope back up as well. So now let's look at the behavior. So we've cut the wire, hold on a sec. Um, the DC-DC converter has the pull-up resistor. So I had to actually hook this, this resistor right here it's a thousand ohm resistor or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and I have it just hooked up to the five volts coming out of the MCM. This is simply because the line itself will never go high otherwise. So we've got the scope hooked up to the ECM side of the white green wire. The other side of the white green wire is just pulled high. So if you, if you probe that at this point, it's always gonna be hot. In fact, if you wanna turn the DC-DC on and off really quickly with the other end of the cut wire, you can just ground it. So for example, Here's the white green going into the DC. If you'll listen, I'll be quiet. You can hear. It's a different sound though, because um, the way the, the it turns on and off slower, we'll, we'll ignore it, but if you look at the voltage here, as I short and unshort this lead, we're at 14 volts. When I touch it, it's gonna go to 12. 
softeners. Oops, I didn't touch it. <laughs> okay, we're now at 12 volts, 14 volts. So that's the control that the ECM has. So you can see now that the ECM is still trying to turn this on and off, but it can't because we cut the wire. And so when the load comes up and down, you'll see that the So there's our signal there. It's never going to change. It's just always going to be high at this point because we've cut the wire. And you'll see that when I, it, right now it wants the DC DC on. Now it's telling it to turn off, but it doesn't turn off. See how the voltage stayed at 14 volts, whereas before it dropped down to 12. So now the ECM can no longer control the actual output voltage. So now the 12 volts is only controlled by the MCM and the engine temperature um, because of course you're trying to charge that 12 volt battery. So as long as you leave the engine temperature wire, which we haven't messed, as long as you leave that connected, it will be as if the alternator was just always charging your car. Uh, I'm not sure why Hana didn't do this. My only guess is that they wanted to be able to um, turn the ECM off. Uh, I'm sorry, the ECM to be able to turn the DC-DC off um, during auto stop. It doesn't make a lot of sense. So I highly recommend just cutting the white green wire on the DC-DC and doing nothing else. So you just cut the wire and leave it there. There's no other changes required. All the other things I have here are simply to measure the signal. Now, if we look at the car, there are no check engine lights, of course. The, the car has no idea, sorry it's out of focus, but the car has no idea uh, that we've cut this lead. Um, so, you know, it can't even read the 12 volt rail. The 12 volt value here, this is the um, ECM 12 volt, which um, is signal, let's see what signal it is, I forget number four. So there's one, two, three. Yeah, IMA battery, I'm sorry, 12 volt battery voltage there. It's uh, hex code 7D. Um, I don't know what this does because it's always 2.5 um, whenever I'm in auto stop. And while I'm driving, it's changing between 2.5 and maybe up to 25 or so. I haven't actually looked at the high end. It's certainly not the voltage. It's not a PWM that's that's that what we're reading here. So I don't really know what that is. Maybe maybe I'll do. So anyway, end of the day, I highly recommend that you come back here or if you're back here, just cut this white green wire and then whenever the key is on in your car and the MCM is happy with the the IMA state of charge, uh, that it will um, leave the DC DC converter on. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to see how we're at 28%. I didn't start this on low on accident. I'm going to basically turn on as much power as I can here. Get the, um, I want to turn the AC on, but I don't want it to start the engine. So get the AC running. So we're pulling some, some power now. What else can we turn on? Um, I don't want to turn the radio on, but I can turn some lights on as if that's any power at all. I can turn the wipers on, it's raining anyway. So basically I want to I want to pull the state of charge down. You can see we just dropped way down and, and actually we just did a slight negative recal. And so at this point we are still charging even though the car won't provide assist. So you can see the voltage is teetering on 13.9 and 14. And actually on the camera here, it's hard, harder to see. Oops, I think it's probably an acorn. Um, so state of charge is, is still going down here. So you can see now though, look, just now the uh, DC-DC turned off. So the MCM was still able. And when the DC-DC turned off, uh, man, boy, did that voltage uh, sync because we're pulling quite a bit of current. I'm not sure why my load sensor. Oh, that's engine load, of course. Uh, I, don't, I don't actually have a current display here. That's a mistake. But yeah, you can see the voltage is all dropped and everything. At this point, my battery is super dead. 
the ECDC is turned off, so all functionality remains functional here. Um, I'm, I suspect that my car is probably going to use the backup starter now next time I turn it on. That's fine, I haven't used it in a while. Anyway, I just wanted to show that the um, if the battery gets too discharged, the IMA battery, it's going to still turn the DC-DC off. And then, of course, if you turn the key off, uh, the DC-DC is off as well. So as I've said a couple times now, as if I was ending the video, come in here, cut this white green wire. I think it was a poor decision by Honda to have the DC-DC turn on and off. Um, so I'm going to be doing that in all my cars.